windy morning. That's exactly what I'm worried about. Worried about these trees falling over. Man, we're gonna have to get those cut down sooner than later. Severe thunderstorm watch this morning and through the night. I'm worried about our trees falling on our house. They're already growing kind of crooked. Man. Uh, she's angry. That's an angry sky. Ted, there is a risk of tornadoes. Though there isn't any specific tornado watch or tornado warnings, there's just a warning to watch out they could develop. Fun day today. It's supposed to peter out in a couple of hours, but yeah, those trees. See that one's kind of growing crooked already. Like I was telling you in past vlogs, and the wind is just like pushing it over our house. Just be calm. It's gonna be a wet day. I brought an extra sweater along just in case this one gets soaked. At least I have something to keep me warm that's dry. We're supposed to go up to Arburg, so that's actually a pretty good thing with weather like this. It's supposed to clear up by later this afternoon or by noon. And uh, I got a two hour drive north this morning. All I got to do is hook up. So I'll get a little wet while I'm hooking up. That's fine. A little water never hurt anybody. And then hopefully by the time we get up there, the rain will have uh, moved on into Ontario. They can deal with it. Gotta go pick up Dad's trailer right now. I'm gonna bring it to work so that uh, when the motorcycle is ready, I'm also ready to uh, trailer it home. Have you noticed we haven't stopped at Tim's in the morning in a while? Trying to save money for a little bit. Believe me, I've missed it. But I've been having my coffee at home and eating breakfast at home before leaving. Just to pinch a few pennies. It's a whole bunch of things we need to get done yet and all of it costs money. So, penny saved is a penny earned, right? Don't worry, we'll get back into going to Tim's every now and then. Uh, but I started this when I started riding into work on my CBR before I sold it. I can't have a coffee on the way to work riding a motorcycle, so I'd always have it at home. And then I just sort of made that into a habit recently, and I'm trying to keep it going. Because once you get into the habit of, you know, getting a little lazy, and be like, yeah, I won't make coffee in the morning, I'll sleep a little longer, and then I'll just stop at Tim's. And you do that day after day after day, yeah, it does add up. I mean, I didn't spend a, a huge fortune there every month, but eh, that's mediocre coffee, right? I don't know why we get so crazy over Tim's. It's not the best coffee. But we keep going, we keep going back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice. Thank you, backup camera. Never let me down. Come on, come on, take it. Take it. There we go. That just needs a little shove. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. No, that's not all the way on there. What's going on? There we go. An extra little kick. It's starting to rain harder now. Peace. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You're going to take my motorcycle home for me. Whenever it's ready. Whew. Of course, as soon as I step outside to uh, hook up, the guy upstairs turns on the water full blast. Because it's funny. <laughs> I guess you need to get a good laugh too. That's all right. I'm not too soaked. I'm okay. Just water. First thing in the morning. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Check my trailer brakes. They're working. Yep. Such a habit to do a brake check. 
<laughs> okay, let's go. Trailer is chained on, it's hooked on, it's locked on. And yes, I could load the motorcycle into the back of my pickup. I just choose not to because I find it's a lot safer just to use a, a lower deck of the trailer. Uh, instead of, you know, getting it on the truck isn't that hard because we have a ramp at work. I could just use that, but at home I do have ramps to go down, but they're pretty steep and narrow. And I, I find it's just a little bit dangerous. I don't want to dump the bike over my first day. Okay, so I figured it's just easier just to use the trailer. That's why I'm using the trailer. I know I can use the pickup. I, I chose not to. I chose to use the trailer. It's an easier, safer option. Well, the rain stopped and the severe thunderstorm warnings have disappeared since I got to work. And the sky out west there looks a little lighter than the sky out east. So remember what I said about Manitoba? You want to know what's coming? Look to the west. Better times are coming. We're through the worst of it. Nice. North of us got a little worse, it looks. That's where we're headed. Okay. All right, so got the trailer here. I'm just gonna leave it hooked up here in the back corner. I think I'm out of the way enough here. And uh, we'll worry about that later. I'm gonna get all loaded up in the truck right here. We're gonna go hook up to our roll tight and start meandering our way up to Arburg. Look out Arburg, we're coming for you. Off we go, another day underway. We got a roll tight behind us, 53 foot flat. We're gonna fill it up with some stuff with our good friends in Arbor. We're gonna pull ourselves up there. It's gonna be a nice little drive. It's already stopped raining, but it looks like we got some more coming from the west a little bit. That wind this morning though, eh? Freaked me out a little bit. Those trees in our backyard are gonna have to come down. I was just kind of hoping to be able to do it next summer. But if we get a bunch of windstorms like that, freight so I should be good so 
it doesn't matter. So as soon as traffic allows me, I'm going to make my way back onto the highway. Ah, uh, it's going to be a little while. Okay. Well, at least I don't need to go switch trailers. And now I know. Trailer 546R is a 48-foot trailer. I just, just never assume. Never assume, okay? I got saved today. I'll be okay. <laughs> well, I should say I got lucky. Come on, Josh. Pull it together. All right, traffic's gonna let me in. Just gonna push my way in. I'm coming. Heads up. Oh yeah, lots of time. We're good. Okay. Another one. These ones are going to Southern Ontario. This is just rude. The scale is open on a rainy day. As if it's not bad enough already, you ain't gotta open her up. Harass some drivers. I'm just joking, they're pretty good here. But they'll probably let me just go straight through. I'm not very heavy, so I'm not even close to being overweight. I got maybe a total of like uh, <laughs> under 10,000 pounds on the deck behind me. All my lights are working. Everything should be good to go. They probably just want to run my plates and my numbers. And hey, this was the scale I asked about those gravel trucks headed north a few vlogs ago. You guys remember that? Yes, there is a sign that uh, obviously I'm blind didn't read underneath the scale sign says that empty gravel trucks and garbage trucks or refuse trucks as they call it are exempt so yes I did embarrass myself and asked a question that I already had the answer to but uh, here we are got my answer this guy's gonna make it over the scale or you what you're gonna stall it don't go to go that slow, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got the green light. Give her before they change their mind. First axle. Drive axles. Trailer axles. Green light. Just like that, you see? Unless they tell you to stop, you don't stop. That looks suspicious. Then they think you can't read. And then they pull you in. Because then they think you might be driving on a fake license. Who knows? It happens. More often in other parts of the country than here, but it does happen. driving through moderate rainfall, some heavy rainfall on the way back from Arbor. And have you ever wondered how well these roll tight trailers actually seal? 
I think that they do a better job than tarping. Because tarping, the wind gets underneath the tarps, and rain and dirt still gets up under the tarps onto the freight. Unless if you do an absolutely incredible tarping job. Which, you know, and it takes a long time. And this is so quick and easy, but is there any drawbacks? Does any water get inside the trailer? We're gonna find out. I'm about 15 minutes or so from our yard. I'm gonna bring in the paperwork. We're gonna go park this trailer in the loaded lineup. And I'm gonna crawl inside and see how well this trailer actually seals. And keeps the dirt out. Cause you see the inside of the trailers, they get dirty over time, right? And nobody washes the inside of them except for me. And I haven't had the chance yet to do it. Cause I've been busy. But, that doesn't mean the freight is getting dirty. That builds up on the inside over a long period of time. I've never seen dirty freight inside a roll type. So I'm curious. When we get back to the yard, we will check to see how well it does. Here's the test. We drove through some pretty heavy rain. Let's see. Floor is pretty much dry. Now this is where the tires would be kicking up some water. I see a few drops. We'll go to the back over here. Well, it's not 100%, I'd say 99.9% .9 sealed. This is an older trailer though too. I'm sure the newer ones would be even better. But uh, from what I see here, this does a way better job than tarping would. Every time I tarped a load, if I ran through a heavy rainfall, every time, for, the water finds a way in. Every time. Let's go back here to, uh, well, see you can see it in there just a little bit. Not bad though, not bad. All the way back here by the trailer tires that are right over here. And there's a little bit of moisture on here. Nothing big though. Just a little bit. I'm actually pretty impressed. Not impressed with how dirty these uh, walls are here, but lucky for us, that dirt doesn't touch the freight. But uh, whenever I have a spare afternoon or time to do nothing uh, I grab the pressure washer and I come in here and I wash the inside of them because if the drivers on the highway even if they take care of the trailers and they take them to the blue beak and they take them to a truck wash the truck wash doesn't wash the insides they just wash the outsides just noticed something here I'm gonna have to fix this real quick oh uh, that's what's going on I see I see I see what happened here Let's Oh, 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 one second. Let me put you over here while I do a quick fix. All right, this freight is going to make its way on over to Ontario. Nice and safe, nice and clean. And I'm uh, going to park the truck and hang around to see if there's any last minute things for me to do. If not, I'm going to mosey on home. I have a feeling the motorcycle is not going to be ready today yet. That's okay, kind of expected that. But I'll be ready when it's ready. I know I've been talking about it a lot. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> oh, if I can get past here. Ugh, man, there we go. Let's get out of here. Well, trees are still standing. Whew, you should have seen that in the height of the wind this morning. Because this tree, like I've always shown you, right? grows kind of crooked that way because there was a tree there at one point made it grow that way this tree in the wind the wind was coming from there that way and it was like bending over our house and this one was just bending over here into the yard and there's a dead one back there that was just bouncing all over the place hey diesel definitely gonna have to put a high priority on getting these cut down and we'll plant new ones uh stronger ones not pine trees uh or maybe blue spruce Colorado spruce, Colorado blue spruce, is that what it's called? Something a little bit stronger than these shaggy things. Diesel. Just wanted to see how you're doing. 
How you doing, man? Get him. <laughs> Get him. Come on, how fast can you run? Get him. <laughs> Turned out to be a nice day after all. Commander? Give us your orders. Don't pressure me. I'm thinking. <laughs>